What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to run off up on last time, we are attacking the city of Madrid and this unit of Swiss Guard has walked in behind us in a position to allow us to draw the garrison into an open field battle. So we're going to oblige them and we're going to destroy them. So I've one unit of Swiss troops ahead of us and we're going to have the garrison coming in behind us. So to bear that in mind when we set up our positions. And uh, deployments like this, because you'd think it'd be fairly darn sure, but you know how the AI gets. Okay, let's get all my guys out of the way. Let's put... Put one unit of guns facing the Swiss guard. Let's deploy three units of line just to provide overwhelming firepower. So I'll leave my guns in reserve. I'm probably going to put two here just to provide a bit of extra support. And then all of my other flank are going to be like this. Facing directly away from us. Cavalry backing them up, ready to form wherever they spawn behind us because obviously the aim is to provide the most flexible formation you can so let's see ah so let's run our troops up or at least the one that, ones that can more immediately um, charge them definitely want my pikes involved my grenadiers want them to run around the flank because it looks like we're going to get them in a right uh, right cauldron <coughs> oh yeah didn't check the uh, swiss guard Let's get my cavalry in a position ready to chase them down. Chase them down. Let's get my cavalry under the flank. I've got two units of grenadiers hitting their Spanish guards, so we should win that. Position my men in a slightly better position to make uh, to make them get into battle battle formation quicker. Let's charge the marines so we don't lose too many men on the charge. Let's get our cavalry around the flank. You guys also charge the marines. Enemy general's been killed, so we're going to try and carefully avoid the bulk of their low quality troops and try to hit the Spanish Guard instead. Let's commit our troops to the uh, to the melee. Let's hold fire with our cavalry. Yeah, the Royal Guard is shattered. That's okay. One second, everyone. That is the doorbell. And we're back. So let's get our men into the melee. It's going to be a bit bloodier than than intended that's fairly inevitable based on the fact that they were all running in from one clustered area which we can't really that we can't really box in so let's get these guys out of the way because they've already suffered enough Yeah, 
Yeah, but the key is to butcher the garrison. You come over here, try and hit some of these Spanish troops in the rear. So this is a mighty melee. But we seem to have the advantage because we have bayonets. And they do not. So on this unit to charge right into the back of this unit here. You men focus on butchering this garrison unit. And then let's get my cavalry out. Okay, let's just get my infantry involved into the fight here. So now they're resorting to the melee, to the um, musket-armed, firelock-armed citizenry. The provincial militia have gone. Garrison militia have gone. This is an almighty scram. In come the grenadiers. I do know they have more troops coming in off of the map, but I want to try and break the bulk of their forces here first before worrying about them. They are just armed citizenry as well, so... Charge on. Just get everyone to charge on. Come a general to mop up this firelock um, citizenry unit cluster. While my entire swarm goes straight on into the firelock arm citizenry. Delicious. Yep, they're falling fast. Now my pike boys are involved. Numbers are falling rapidly. Oh, he got piked. There they go. And I'm probably going to end the battle here, just because most of these units are completely destroyed anyway, so there's no real rush. But that's a nice start to this episode. The Madrid garrison. Lost 2,200 men. Granted, we did lose 1,000, so that's not good. But these are losses we can that we can reinvest in and fix. So I'm not overly concerned about losses there. So let's see how the rest of the turn plays out. Do I want to intercept? Probably not. Not, with, not at least not with one, four, three ship of the line. I probably don't, because you'll know my naval skills leave something to be desired. Sorry, everyone. I'm just changing my filter position. <laughs> right, auto resolve. Two hundred men. Jesus. Peace. Damn right. I'll take peace. I'll secure that flank. It gives me an opportunity to send men out to attack more regions and secure more income. And here comes the Barbary States. I'm just sailing around, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Let's call in the Italian states. They will help keep our ports free, and it does mean that Tripoli is going to get attacked. Not that that's a massive problem. Uh, no, yeah. So I was looking at my recording window, and I was wondering if my audio levels were okay. They look like they're okay. So our trading port has been damaged by the darned Barbary States with a whole bunch of camels. So let's get ready to build up an army to go and take them out. Obviously the rest of our money whoa, wants to get spent on 
replenishing these men as much as possible. The garrison's pretty weak, so let's try and demand the surrender. Nope. I mean, I don't want to auto-resolve it, because we know how these things are. So they're assaulting it because we do have lots of understrength units and we all know how mortars can really screw over. Um, they can really screw over but their garrison is very weak so our weakened units are our weakest units can go in the front So the goal of the these other units, I can't deploy over there, I am an idiot. The goal of these units is to just open up more doors to allow us to rush through. So speed up time to just get the... Uh, to get the way in, sorted, and then I will, to be honest, I could probably assault the walls as well. Let's just get one unit around here. Another unit to join them. Attack the, no attack the local areas around the gates rather than attacking the entire wall. The mortars are engaging, which is uncomfortable. There we go, they're starting to engage my attack my assault infantry position. Yeah, granted lots of these units are actually quite clustered together. Uh, so that could cause could cause some potential problems. Let's push our other infantry forward as well, even though the breach isn't ready, just to provide their howitzers with more targets, so they end up having a more difficult time to focus fire any one particular area. Yes, yeah, so we do want one unit to go around, secure quick entry here. It's weak unit, send them to try to secure the gate. Yep, understandably they're wavering. Shaken and steady. They're wavering. Get the pikemen to run over here straight away. Nope, you also attack. These guys are going to hunker down. My main objective is to get this gatehouse captured to get my cavalry in. Soon the wall will be breached. Bring our infantry up close. Good. The wall is breached, so just swarm, swarm, swarm. It's kind of necessary to keep attacking all these walls, but whatever. Yeah. 
still waiting to take this section of the wall. These guys want to run in through the breach rather than the gate. Frustrating, but that's okay, because we've also got other routes in. Let's start knocking out these howitzers. Good. Yeah, well, there we go. General's been killed. What the hell caused that? This guy to get flung all the way back over here. Keep attacking them. Cavalry finally shown up. Hey, that's where the Marines went. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Your, your fireball off. Let's knock out these fellas that are holding stopping us from taking the building these guys still can't get in yet so just get involved in the fight I suppose so the only men that are left are the ones up on this wall these marines that are about to get charged in the rear. There go the marines. But yeah, they've wavered, they've routed, they've routed. It's just these marines left standing. No, oh, they've routed two. Good. Madrid is ours. And we really, really need to spend some money to hold it. Because we're stack sat in there holding it. It can't really go out. Let's see if we can establish a temporary peace with France. Spain probably won't let us have a break. Let's, do, let's destroy the school to try and get a bit, uh, bit more goodwill. You try and assassinate their general. Ah, my agent got executed. Yeah, the ship doesn't really have a home. So let's get them back to safety. We are going to keep taxing them because we need the money. Obviously we're getting no trade because we have some Russian ships. Let's just take our heavy portion of the fleet out to go and attack this stack in order to secure that third rate. I'm so bothered about the escorting ship. Just smash that third rate. Obviously, I want overwhelming firepower because I am rubbish. Come on, let's get over here. Reinforcements. Ah, the fourth rate from Sicily. Away you go. Ready? I'm going to chop this recording here, then ring goes back when they're a bit closer. So, see you in a second, everyone. 
and we're back guys and sorry <laughs> so for whatever reason um my recording software wasn't actually picking up the background sound so i'll probably have to go and put some open not open source but you know empire music over the first half of this video <laughs> Yeah, we've got a sixth right here that's just sailing bold as brass into our gun line. So I'm going to speed it up just because it's a sixth rate that's just getting shot to hell. Well, it's holding up remarkably well. Third rate's still far in the back, Krasnoi. So that's not really a concern. Come on, Gavril, sail just a bit more. Fire! Let's pivot this fella. Lose the broadside. At this point, just let them fire at will. Notice how all the ships, they still do kind of sail around out of position. Let's get these, get these ships turned about. Yep, Gavril is very upset. May as well pivot this fellow to get some long range shots into Gavril. Boom, 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 boom. routing but I fire a broadside in and she's captured okay let's get all of you fellas moved along so I'm speeding this up because it's just a one ship engagement like it's not a battle I really need to focus on too much need to keep my ships pointing in a good position to engage and probably have one of these fellas sat on uh, sat on chain shot at least one of the ones he's sailing right into there goes our foremost Rear mast was going then. Fairfield's at long range. The firm is firing off more shots. Krasnoi is now wavering. Inflexible is going to have a excellent time firing into a foremast. She is routing, so let's just speed up time just to allow the continue for sure to just allow the cannon fire from other ships to cause her to surrender. <laughs> Raphael has been pushed out of the way. But there we 
an aircraft. Let's take take Krasnoy into service, cash in Gavril. Get our ships back to port, or what we've got left, what we've got back to port. So bring everyone bar. Did that the wrong way around. I want everyone bar one galleon. To be honest, let's just kick out the sixth rate, put the galleon back in. Sixth rate, go over to Anaba. You fellas can't repair yourself because the port is broken. Um, but that'll do. Let's pick up this farm. Yeah, the militia's coming on to Toronto. The cavalry can go back to Naples. To be honest, let's take another sixth rate out of this fleet. Yeah, that's a potential, potential job for the cavalry. Cover Syracuse. And this fourth rate can join our fleet. Good Salamanca's there, but it's not going to exist for very long. Oh, yeah, we do have our third rates from the other... Coming over from the... Caribbean. Okay, we've still got Lisbon and Gibraltar to take, but they should be significantly, or well, suffering from significant money problems. And we should be to a lesser extent. Understandable. A second rate, Bizarro. Good. My guys retreated to a port, and that is lucky. Very lucky. I would ultimately like to have more research, but I don't think I'm going to get it. At least not out of Spain in the short term. And as a bit of an apology for the for the start of the, uh, the episode, that being screwed up, um, I'm going to keep recording and make this a bit of a longer episode rather than half an hour because I think I'm probably not too far off of that so if as long as the recording doesn't break I'm going to keep going till my current counter uh, gets to about half an hour so that's another 20 22 minutes ish Just as a bit of a bit of an apology there. So the pirates are continuing to be scamps. We're getting raided. But Madrid they are unhappy, understandably. But we're gonna rebuild the museum. Might build this into a coaching inn to try and cheer them up as well. I don't want to exempt them from taxes because we do need the money, especially if Russia keeps sailing ships into us. Another Krasnoy. So let's take our an assortment of ships of our least damaged ships. Least damaged ships. In fact I might put yeah. It's okay I'm going to do this again. Um, because we're actually churning out quite to the naval strength. The naval strength we can't directly match in terms of firepower. But they are helping us grow our navy from sending small stacks to interfere with our... To interfere with our, uh, island. Come on. But yeah, you guys know the drill. I'm going to chop this recording and bring you guys back um, when things are a bit nearer the action. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're back in. And I feel like I should mention, this is Gavril the Bomb Catch. We also have Gavril the Fourth Rate Ship of the Line and Gavril the War Galleon. Yeah, but a lot of ships are pouring a lot of fire into Gavril. Just as the head of our line should start to be pumping shells into, not shells, but shots into Krasnoy. So 
these guys can deal with the bomb catch. These fellas can sail over a bit more and help support. Action against Krasnoi. So the thing with Gavril is she's a bomb catch, which in my experience usually means that they like to fire off these mortars and what they can do is they can explode up in the rigging and be quite frustrating as they dismast your ships quite well. Galleon, you reload and start to put in more round shots. Or chain shot, rather. Start to knock out more of her sails. Everyone else can just fire at will. She's so close. So, yeah, you need to pivot. Fan to fire broadside from range. Okay, now you might start firing round shot, uh, proper broadsides as you go. As you get more broadside. Try and knock out some of her sails. And nearly reloaded. And there we go. Krasnoi is routing. Fire a broadside because it's nearly done. Definitely want to continue the battle. Krasnoi has returned. These guys are good. Gavril surrendered. So let's get Krasnoi to give up. Good. So the Russian very, very, very kindly donated two third rate ships of the line. We don't want the bomb catch, we'll have the money. Ordini. You go back to port, and then we're probably going to have to do... 6-3, come out, everyone else go in. 6-3, go over to Anaba. Spend more money to get these. this guy replenished. 200 cash. Let's... Spend a bit more on this garrison, although they look fairly weak. Okay, research and tech. Okay, could really do with a classical university, but... Tunis is on the edge of rebelling. So it's got to be Oxford. Which is being built. Excellent. Let's hit end turn. So the Spanish are going to get, do some spoiling expeditions, but I need to spend my money chiefly on building up a garrison. Or, well, A, repairing the garrison I have, and B, uh, going on the offensive. Going on the offensive and securing Lisbon would be valuable. They're marching this way. Which is a concern. But I'm pretty sure I should be able to hold. Both their armies are defeated as well as mine. And if they attack while I have a breach, then that'll be even better. I 
Oh yes, I forgot about the new Spaniards. As they clear out the pirate lines, my army still sat here in the Bahamas, preventing themselves from preventing the French from making use of the port. The Barbary states have done the job this time, rather than rather than the Russians. Let me raid in Granada. Raids are fine. Spain now likes me. All my money. Repair my troops. What have they got here? The Jebek. So let's send my... Sixths to go take them out. I don't want to... I don't want them in my fleet. Can't really make use of that. To be honest, I could probably march that army onto a. I could probably march that army onto the Barbary States and win because they got lots of camels, which I can hold against quite well. Desert militia's pretty pants. Probably like a bit of support, but. You know, gonna have to do something offensive to help deal with them. Let's go over to the Americas and take you guys. Get you over to Puerto Cabello. I can get my sixth rate over here and get ready to transfer you over to uh, Curacao take them out and then probably go on to the Guyanas down here. Cuba's growing the dock. How are you doing for exports? you not exporting everything. But lots of people don't like us. Keep trying to get peace with the French. Trevor's the French are liked by everyone. Ideally, I'll take out. Well, ideally, I need to hold on to this territory and slowly, when I have cash, build these buildings. Well, the ceremony is not super necessary, but it does give us religious happiness. So I'm not going to do anything to it. Realistically, I need to make a strategic peace with the Russians to stop their continued offensives against my port. Because that's holding us up quite a lot. So much so, I might try and make peace with them and give them the Leeward Islands, potentially. As a way to get them to leave me alone. Okay, the Russians haven't attacked us this turn, which is good. But let's see if the Barbary states make a ship. Well, they're bringing ships over to Europe. But for the first time in a long time, we've had a port undisturbed. So we can get our trade income going. Fix some of these key buildings inside Spain. Which is a massive help. I can start to build up a garrison to fight off these chaps while I make an offensive against Lisbon. Rebellion in Spain. Well, they're more than like they're more than happy to uh, try take me out. And I may end up giving myself a general and pick up maybe native African infantry, a unit of those. Trouble is though, if I do attack them, they'll get a whole bunch more extra stuff. So I really want more troops capable of uh, holding them, holding their own in square formation. If you got rid of religious unhappiness yet? No, not yet. Yeah, we're about to get attacked a lot in Spain, but there's only so long they can actually hold on to these regions. Well, they can. There's only so long. 
they can support this many troops. So I'm not overly concerned. I mean, the French here are a bit of a concern. One more turn to the next level. Naval reforms. Which will be handy to get the Naval College. As they come within range of my capital, or my capital, Madrid, I will want to draw them into battle. Not expecting to get any income from Madrid for a while. But when I have a garrison force, I'll be able to hit Lisbon, and then taking Gibraltar should be a fairly simple activity. That won't result in the death of the Spanish, though, because they do hold territory in northern Italy. So it's not... It's not a silver bullet, let's just say that. Here come the Russians again. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and make peace with them to get them to back off. Because otherwise I fear they will not leave me alone. Italian states are fighting against the Prussians, which I'm thankful I'm not involved in. Because I don't really want to fight against the Prussians. Yep, they've grouped their forces in. I thought the rebels would come and attack me. Although I'm, I'm okay if they do want to raid, because we'll start to lose some of these happiness bonuses, but we are still fundamentally driving down resistance to foreign occupation. So we've got the Reform Naval Administration. That gets us next level naval buildings. But don't bother with this. Instead, go down to the artillery route, I think. I don't want anything, I don't really want anything that can remove happiness, but I suppose I need the wealth. And that will push Tunis to be unhappy. March on the capital, draw on some extra support. War declared between the Ottomans and Russia. Perfect. Ooh, a fourth and a third. Krasnoy and Gavril again. But it does mean, well, they can focus on each other for the meantime. Prussia is a concern because they're taking a lot of territory. And you need to start building a garrison of something if I want to ever get my army out. Um, but one second, guys. I need to pop to the loo. And he's back. Um, but yes, I don't think there's a, lot of, there's a lot I can really do. I want to kind of draw some of these marauding armies in to the fight before moving my troops out. Because if I move my troops out, that's a prime recipe for them to come around the rear and attack me. Um, we are losing growth because of it, but I'm sure we'll get it back. Russia's at war with Sweden as well. It's Prussia at war with... Prussia is at war with... Okay, so there's a mighty war now fighting between Russia and Sweden, Prussia and the Ottomans. So we need to take advantage of this while we can, which I think still means we go to Russia and go... Do you want to peace out? Peace and... Well, to be honest, I don't know if I want to give them any regions because they might suffer... They might suffer from their previous attacks. Well, not their previous attacks, but, you know, they might... Uh, another war with everyone, they might be in a bit more of a pickle. They might be in a bit more of a pickle in on the continent and send be able to send less to come out and actually attack us. Same, but same drill as before. I'm going to set my line up and then I'm going to chop the recording. Then let's bring you guys back into the action when the cool stuff happens. There's loads of cuts in this episode. Jesus. And we're off. They did a, they did a bit of uh, shunting around this way. So what I want to do is take my my line here. Instead, do something like this to try and get their guns into the mix. 
You maybe not so much, you might be okay there, but these three heavier ships at the front of a line need to get a bit closer. But I should also point out if we do take Krasnoi, the third rate, then our entire third rate ships out. <laughs> All cold Krasnoi. And we'll have a few ships named Gavril as well. take to be honest let's take most of our line yeah to make more sail like that no, I don't have to sail at full chat either we've already got Gal Galatea Loading chain shot to try and knock out some sails. There goes our main mast. There you go. When you start cranking out the br the uh broadsides let's get you involved into firing on Krasnoi this ship can probably hit where it wants to go and then probably stand down or at least weigh anchor, or oh, no. drop anchor, I should say. You need to keep moving because this fellow wants to get into position for a broadside. Fire at will. So we may take more damage than we're usually accustomed to. But the idea is that we've got so many ships and so many guns pouring into fu pouring fire into them that. Uh, Individual superiority does not really matter. So Gavril's already quite unhappy at the pounding she's taken. We know Gavril isn't going to be escaping very much. If she does rout, because she's lost her mainmast. Krasnoi, our own third rate, is in position to be able to fire off broadside as she pleases. About to fire. As she bears. There we go, even diligent all the way back here is able to just keep firing off those shots. Gavra's probably going to sink. The fan's starting to fire off their guns as she bears. Turned because she's on fire. To 
be honest, you can just hunker down. They're holding on rather well. Now let's get the let's get the broadside going into the third rate. They're both routing, but obviously we want to uh, capture them. There goes Krasnoi. Yeah, we're going to continue. We'll just let the guns fire as they please into Gavril. Just so everyone to go after Gavril. Good. I think we're into our service. Ah, oh, we can't. Oh no, do we not? Oh, what? Oh, one of them... Wait. Okay, I'm sure we continued and then ended the battle on our choosing. Oh, well. We'll take Gavril. I guess she must have sunk. Let's get her out of Suffolk. And let's drop... One of the Gavrils. Oh, no. Did that all wrong? Everyone except... Everyone except... Okay, I was doing that wrong. Move you across. Move one of our fourths over to another. There we go, spend the last cash on trying to fix their wagon. Okay, so we're getting joint stock companies. Let's hit N10. And let's see if we can end the episode on luring the Spanish into a fight near Madrid. So I know this episode's lots of Russian naval battles, but I can't really avoid that. If it becomes, from now on, if it becomes a recurring theme, I'll chop the recording before going in, I'll fight it, and then show you, I'll, I'll fight it off screen, then I'll show you guys the, uh, the end, the final battle screen. Because we obviously do want to actually fight these. A, because they're valuable ships, they're worth taking, and they're easy to take because they're so small. The fleets are so small. But B, uh, if I try and fight these auto-resolved, I will lose a bunch of ships every time I auto-resolve it. So I definitely need to fight them. Yep, I thought not. Russia can't get their... Uh, likely can't get their uh, ships out from wherever they're building them out to, uh, out to Malta. Which is good. I really hope we don't lose Rome. Obviously the Barbary States have come in and attacked us and we are about to be losing a whole bunch of cash. Although they're all Jebex. So my backup fleet that doesn't really need to serve a purpose. Uh, Water resolve? Oh, we lost. Didn't lose any ships. Okay. You've gone all the way to Madrid. What was of our big fleet? Because we need to take him out. We didn't lose any ships. We captured a couple. They're still fleeing. Good. You guys spend the money on trying to fix yourself. That's pretty much all of our money. Put Tripoli under siege while reinforcements march up. Let's go up to here and let's keep... We're going to need to keep building. Or at least we could fight limited battles. Let's take... These fellas out. Put the militia in. You guys go and intercept Victorino Machias. But I don't even know what the episode length is because the episode is so damn long and there's so many cuts. That's probably going to be about it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Again, I'm really sorry about the first half, but I've fixed it and that shouldn't happen again. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you for the battle against this Spanish army. Cheers, everyone.